Minecraft has a huge problem that renders versions 1.19 onwards basically useless. See, what I'm talking about is the new update problem. Microsoft and Mojang release an update for Minecraft every week. Wait, no, that was when Notch was still around. Twice a year? No, that's what they used to do. Now updates come a grand total of once every year. But why is this also important? Why are versions 1.19 and above useless? Well, it's because of the way Minecraft updates work in the first place. See, for a Minecraft update to even happen, you need additions. These additions can be new blocks, items, mobs, and other things. You name it. But one of those other things is combat. And if you've played Minecraft for a long time, you've likely heard, or have experienced, the controversy of the Minecraft 1.9 combat update. This was the first update that Microsoft actually had a part in, and it was made more than an entire year after the previous update, making 2015 literally silent for Minecraft. Basically, right after Microsoft bought Mojang, Minecraft almost fell off. But this is still a rather huge update, tweaking something that players knew all too well combat. See, back in the ancient era of 2016, you can simply click your mouse and do damage. You could do this as much as you want. In fact, the more you did it, the more damage you dealt. Amazing, right? But 1.9 made it so that when you click your mouse, you cannot click it again right away to do the max amount of damage. You now had to wait for a cooldown to finish, meaning that fights, instead of being extra fast paced and require quick thinking, fights in 1.9 and above required timing and were quite slow and therefore boring. At least, that's what people said at the time. In fact, people hated this update so much that some players are still on 1.8 combat. Hypixel, the most popular server in all of Minecraft, didn't even update since 1.8.9. That means that they can't experience new features, like Totem Zone and Dying or Trial Chambers, but that's apparently the trade-off for bad combat. But this update still changed Minecraft a lot. Now versions before 1.9 feel very old, perhaps in a good way. Anyway, let's jump to the next game-changing update. You might have thought that I was talking about 1.11, the exploration update, because that added Totem Zone 9, and you know how game-breaking those are. But those weren't easy to find until way later, so we'll go to 1.13, the update aquatic. You see, before 1.13, which was released back in 2018, oceans and other bodies of water looked like this. Very empty and lifeless, except for maybe squids and ocean monuments, and probably the occasional villager that just fell into the water because they're literally proven to be dumber than pigs. But 1.13 changed Minecraft, man. They made oceans full of life. They added shipwrecks, which made speedrunners happy. They added tropical fish, which made explorers happy. They added coral, which made builders happy. They added aquatic and marine features to soul sand and magma, which made glitch hunters happy. Basically, almost everyone is happy about this update. In fact, it's my personal favorite. I like water. But some people, again, didn't like it because it made FPS and stuff like that very bad. Some even say that this was the beginning of the downfall of Minecraft's performance. This version also made modding harder, which is why mods like Up and Down and All Around are stuck on 1.12.2 and below. This version also locked 2B2T into version 1.12.2 for like a decade. But this update changed Minecraft in a big way, just like 1.9. Now that 1.13 exists, if you go back to 1.12, the oceans seem lifeless and extremely boring. This brings me to the next update, 1.14, Village and Pillage. This was actually a 2-in-1 special, with the texture update also being added, which you won't believe this, but it tweaked most textures in Minecraft. If you're wondering what textures weren't changed, they were the grass textures and this other random texture that they forgot to update because 99.9% .9 of players didn't even notice, including apparently all of the developers. Anyway, this made it so that three things were now outdated. Textures, villages, and pillages. You see, now villages had lots of different jobs and customizable areas and work blocks for villages to work on, and more. It was also the first time Element Animation made a trailer for Minecraft, which is officially supported by Mojang, which is nice. So now that all those were updated, if you went to a village in versions like 1.13 and below, you would find them, again, extremely boring and way less functional. This update also made Totems of Undying insanely easy to farm, so there's also that. And if you've been played before 1.13 or below, unless you were using a resource pack, you would see the default textures and go, darn, those are old. Anyway, moving on to the next game changing update, which was 1.15. I mean 1.16, another update. It's pretty obvious what they did, they tweaked the nether. But look at this, look at the old nether. Now the old nether was just called the nether waste biome. Other new biomes include the warp forest, the soul sand valleys, the basalt deltas, and the crimson forest. And again, before this, half of these biomes were just focused on the nether waste biomes. This update also added netherite, bastions, piglins, tradable gold, new wood types, respawn anchors, target blocks for redstone, and lastly but certainly not least, pig step. But you can see the thing that's common amongst all these game changing updates. Updates that came before it looked outdated. Before 1.16, let's say you're 1.15, now the nether looks outdated, only with fortresses and that's about it. And go back to versions like let's say 1.8, and now combat, water, textures, villages, and the nether seem outdated. But this update wasn't the last game changing update, because that title goes to Caves and Cliffs. That's right, Minecraft Caves and Cliffs, the second part, also known as 1.18, released on November 30, 2021, which I know by heart because I almost made a video about it. But aside from that, it added one new item. 
other side. But other than that, it tweaked cave and cliff generation entirely. See where they got the name from? This added actual deep slate caves, higher and more exaggerated impressive mountains and cliffs, different cave biomes, increased the height limit, decreased the height limit, and yes, they did both of those in the same update. But those things are just some of what 1.18 changed about Minecraft. And yes, it was a game changing update. Now you could go back to 1.17 and go, more new caves. Now 1.8 was extra, extra outdated. You could go to oceans, villages, the nether, textures, combat, and generation, and call all of it out Dated. But unfortunately, that's the end of the list of game changing updates. But there's a problem. 1.18 was almost three years ago. We're currently in 1.21, the Tricky Trials update. And if my math is mathin', that's three entire updates that are not very game changing. Honestly, it wouldn't make a difference if a beginner played Minecraft for the first time in 1.18 or 1.21 because none of these updates really added anything big. Let me explain. 1.19 basically only added frogs and the warden, which came with their own unique biomes and structures, which are fairly rare. 1.20 basically only added the cherry biome, and no way to do stuff with netherite, and that's rare to come across for a beginner. 1.21 tricky trials basically only added the trial chambers, hence the name, which, you, know, you guessed it, are also very like rare. Now you can that. see the problem. Every update after 1.18 is basically useless, only affecting things that only a small amount of players will even find accidentally. So in conclusion, Minecraft updates have been getting more and more over Roman with each one that passes. And if my dreams come true with 1.22 being the end update for Minecraft, then we'll finally see other game changing opportunities for the community to experience, enjoy, and play on. Oh yeah, also I've been hearing rumors about a secret Herobrine wearing a business suit somewhere in this video. So if you want, you can rewatch the video to see if you found him. You can comment if you did, by the way. But if you enjoyed this video, why not click on the one on screen? YouTube personally picked out this video to be one of the best possible for you to watch. So why not watch it? Anyway, you just watched a URT Minecraft video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Thanks to this person in the credits for paying less than a dollar per month for awesome perks. And until next time, Minecrafters.